So what's up guys and welcome to Ivar's Fly Workshop. Today we are going to tie an Icelandic pattern called Lothamundur. It's a fly that I am not too much familiar with. I've actually never fished this one. But according to the look of it I can actually, I can imagine that uh, it is working well and it's uh, especially for uh, Brown trout and Arctic char. And this is tied by a request by an Icelander who uh, contacted me and asked me for tying this uh, fly for the channel. So, for the tail of the fly, we are using um, just a pheasant uh, tail uh, feather, adjusting it to about this length. So, one of the tails like this, just a natural one, and uh, we'll be attaching the thread down there so we get like a nice bend on the on the tail of the fly, then we are bringing the thread up, up for, forward, and the uh, next step is to snip away the uh, tag end. Uh, we are using a sample fly, uh, Nano Silk uh, 50 denier for this a red one. And uh, we are using an RX uh, curved nymph number 12, not a traditional nymph, sorry. But uh, or, or just you can use like any any other um, any other curved like a camera who's got here is uh, uh, the lawman fly just as I tied it and I tied, just tied it by a by a picture that I found online and uh, I have actually no idea who made this fly fly originally but we don't care about that uh, for the tail of the fly and the Two thirds of the body, we are using a red uh, tubbing brush, like an Antron uh, tubbing, and uh, it's like a yeah, crystal Antron. You can actually use like if you, it just all depends on on your uh, on your preferences. If you if you want to use just like a like an Antron tub, you can use that and skip the brush. But some people find the brush more comfortable. But if you're tying this fly in smaller sizes, I believe that the brush will be, you know, too big. So you can just decide what you, which one you like. Yeah, remember to like, share and subscribe. That is a mandatory thing. I would like everybody to subscribe to my channel and can share the channel if you want with your friends. When we have attached the uh, first part of the dubbing brush, uh, we will start to prepare the um, the middle section. And the middle section of the fly is um, made out of flat silver tinsel. And yeah, we are using this flat uh, tinsel for it. I'm using actually a holographic one. It gets uh, like a better shine on it. But that's one third of the fly. That is the uh, the uh, middle section or the middle part of it. So two thirds are the antron brush. And then one third is the uh, holographic holo holo tinsel in between them. And we wrap that around. And not much further than this, so we have space for the hat and for the uh, and for the rest of the brush. And then we take some tight wraps to to get this down back and forward, so it's not going to slip. No chance of that. And we'll snip away the rest of the tinsel. 
then comes the other part of the uh, dubbing part or the dubbing brush part and we get this, this dubbing brush down like so I like those dubbing brushes actually it's like comfortable to comfortable to work with them and all that and I like them a lot but it is like I said it, it depends on the size of the fly how, how small hooks you can actually apply this on unless it's gonna be too busy one more and then we'll grab that with our thread and secure that tightly down and start to form like a hat of the fly and I'm using the red thread thread uh, simply to yeah because we, the material next to it is red and uh, and then adjust the beat a little bit and then we'll build up like a some head of the fly. Uh, there is actually an Icelandic fly called Kroker. This is like quite far away from looking like the Kroker, but uh, the rear section of the fly, the tail, and the and then the red brush on the on the back looks like the Kroker fly pretty much. And the Kroker is actually one of the most popular flies in Iceland for catching um, Arctic char. It will catch brown trout as well, but the Arctic char, like, like, like a fly for the Arctic char, croaker is definitely one of the most popular ones here in Iceland. And to coat the hat, we are using a solar response cure, a UV, UV uh, resin. And we will be sapping that with our light, like so. In a few seconds, ten seconds or so, when we are secure with the um, secure with the resin, it's it's already uh, hardened. So we are done today, and I just want to say thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next one.